What is up guys, this week's drone tip of the week is removing prop shadows from your drone shots. Now prop shadows happen when you're flying forward with your drone with the sun either coming in from the front here or more likely coming in a little bit from the side, shining through the spinning props and onto the lens and that causes rapidly pulsating shadows as the sun shines between the spinning props and onto the lens and kind of gives you a banding effect on your shot. Now you can minimize this by simply not not shooting with the sun at that exact angle, but sometimes you'll want to get a shot from that angle nonetheless. And another thing that can help in camera is to slow down your shutter speed to 180 degree shutter speed. In other words, shutter speed double the frame rate. So for 30 frames per second, that would be 1 60th of a second. But even as much as you might try to prevent it, sometimes you do end up with prop shadows in your shot. But even if you do end up with that banding in your footage, all hope is not lost because you can fix it in DaVinci Resolve quite easily. So to start with, we'll want to bring the footage into Resolve, trim the clip, put it on your timeline and then we'll put the playhead right over that clip and go ahead and come over here into the color tab in Resolve. And if we play the clip back, you can see that towards the end of the clip, there is some banding from prop shadows. So to fix that, we're going to use one of the OFX effects that are included in Resolve. Now this particular effect that we're going to use is called Deflicker and it's only available in the studio version of Resolve, not in the free version. But I would say that this effect along with noise reduction, motion blur, and a whole bunch of other effects are definitely worth paying for the upgrade. So to apply the effect, we'll just click on the OFX panel in the upper right hand corner, and then we'll click on our search bar and type in D flicker. And then we'll just click on that effect and drag it onto our first node here. And the default settings for time-lapse D flicker will work just fine. Even though this is not typical flickering like you might find in a time-lapse where each frame is a different brightness, it is also able to fix banding issues from the flickering light coming through the props and hitting the lens. And one more tip from editing here, sometimes just adding one instance of D flicker won't get rid of all the flicker in your shot. So if that's the case, what you can do is just add another node either by clicking Option S on your keyboard or by right clicking on your last node. Coming down here to add node, add serial node, that will add another node where you can then add another instance of the flicker and that should get rid of any flickering that is left. Anyways, that's it for this week's drone tip. As always, make sure to subscribe to get next week's drone tip of the week.